I went into cancer research because I was personally touched by cancer. Um, I lost both of my parents to cancer when I was young. And I recognized the personal challenges that come as a result of a loved one dying with cancer. We've made significant progress, although we still have a lot more work ahead of us. As a result of sequencing the human genome first and sequencing tumors more specifically, we've been able to unveil targets Targets that have been oncogenic drivers, scientists have made amazing discoveries, even going so far as now being able to target molecular alterations that were initially thought to be undruggable. When I was younger, many people doubted that immunotherapy would even be a potential drug treatment option. Now it's becoming standard of care for many tumors. Now that we have a larger armamentarium of targeted agents, as well as immunotherapeutics, and we know that there's drugs in both buckets that work, we're looking at combining those agents in clinical trials. Patient advocates more and more are going to be crucial to the success of clinical cancer research the reason is, is because our trials have become really, really complex. The patient advocate brings in more realistic viewpoints. I think they need to be involved early on as we're designing these trials so that we can expedite the trials and get to the end point faster. Basic research is pivotal to the advances that we have made in the clinic. It's important to go from not only bench to bedside, as we say, not only from the lab to the patient, but also from bedside to bench, taking samples that we obtained from patients and bringing them back into the lab to help us understand why is one patient responding to the drug, but another patient is not responding. The continued and hopefully increased funding by the federal government and cancer research is pivotal to the success. How do we define success? Patients living longer with the disease. Patients being diagnosed earlier so that they can be cured. Development of treatment strategies that can increase the longevity of patients, increase the cure rate of patients with cancer. None of those discoveries can be done without research. In terms of, you know, the future of cancer therapeutics and cancer research, there are a lot of ongoing changes. The diagnostics are becoming much more sophisticated. The technologies such as spatial transcriptomics to help us look at a tumor and dissect the data that we get. It may unveil things that we never even thought of. Another area is artificial intelligence. The bioinformatics capabilities that we have is only exponentially growing. And it's going to allow us to look at patient subsets and you know whole populations to be able to hopefully better understand, you know, not only therapeutics, but disease biology. My dream is that one day, even in patients that have metastatic disease, it'll become a chronic disease like diabetes and people can live much longer even with the disease. What an impact, not only for that person, not only for that person's loved ones and acquaintances, but for the world we would have if we could do that, if that dream could come true.